Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup look inspired by my dream job. I had this idea a couple days ago when I was just sitting thinking about the future and I was like, imagine how cool it would be if I did like this really artistic, beautiful makeup look inspired by what I want to be when I'm older. Obviously, I'm still very young, so it's not like set in stone what I want to do, but I just want to talk to you guys about some of my dreams and what I want to accomplish in life. Right before we get into the video, just please make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And now that that's all out of the way, let's get into the video. Okay, so now I'm back, my lashes are off, and I put a little bit of powder under my eye just to catch any fallout to make sure my whole under eye doesn't turn bright red. The whole reason I wanted to make this video is to inspire other people to share their stories because I find that nowadays, everybody is expected to be like on the same exact path. Obviously, I am a boy doing makeup, which is very, very untraditional, and nowadays it's getting more and more accepted, but especially here in North Carolina, it is more towards the South, so to a lot of people, it's very, very shocking, and it can be hard, especially at my age, to do this kind of thing where like nobody else is doing it, and you just feel so alone. My entire life, I have been into video production. There are literally videos of five-year-old me just grabbing a camera from my parents and then just like vlogging my day. Even before vlogging was a thing, I'd literally just run around and be like, here's what I'm doing today, this is what I'm doing, um, I hope you guys are doing well, and obviously Obviously, I was a five-year-old, so I wasn't posting that anywhere, or six, like five to six years old. And ever since I was little, I've always loved cameras and really enjoyed like video production. When I turned 11 is when my parents first started letting me post online. And I was really inspired by daily vloggers like Logan Paul, Roman Atwood, and a lot of Brazilian creators too. So my videos were made in Portuguese. And now I look back and those videos are literally horrible. There's a channel that's fully privated, so don't even try to look for it. And I'm very much a perfectionist, so as you can see, I love high quality, but when I go back to these videos, it's all of this that has taught me. People think I've been doing YouTube for like a year and just making skincare videos, but I've literally been doing it for like eight years, I guess you could say, technically, like making little videos, and it's very hard to have your dream job be something that's so untraditional, especially now in school. Every single time I approach a teacher, their first question is always, what do you want to be when you're older? Do you know what you want to like major in? Do you know like what do you want to do in college? What college do you want to go to? And I'm always just like standing there like, am I really about to tell this person I want to be a YouTuber? And a lot of people just want to become a YouTuber for the money nowadays. Like I feel like everybody wants to become a YouTuber or everybody has thought about like just becoming a celebrity. And if I'm ever sad, like if I ever get home from school sad or if I'm just stressed, sitting here in front of the camera literally is what makes me feel the happiest and what makes me feel like the best overall. But I still think there is very much like judgment when people say they want to do social media because to them they just think like, oh, they just want to be famous. And I find it really annoying that I have to like make up jobs or be like I want to be like in social marketing when if somebody was like I just want to be a lawyer they'd be like oh that's so cool but then if you say anything that's like not the three like traditional jobs they think you're weird besides YouTube makeup is something that I have always liked I would always love sitting in my mom's bathroom just like watching her do makeup and then at the end of like sixth grade I started like really watching a lot of makeup videos online and then one day I just went into my mom's bathroom when I was home alone and just like took her makeup and I've literally never felt so good it was such a fun experience and I was terrified that someone was gonna get home and see me like that just because it's so like different for guys to be makeup now it's more like socially acceptable but for me even it was so weird doing that whether it's literally just a neutral look or a rainbow on my entire face makeup just always makes me feel so good and has always been an escape for me and I feel like even in these last two years so much has changed people like James Charles that was the first ever cover boy definitely changed society immensely and I'm so glad that he is doing what he's doing and now like a lot of people like I feel like we're homophobic but they just love his content so I feel like he's definitely changed the lives of millions of people including mine besides social media being my dream job that by itself is already a very weird to a lot of people and they're like oh like that's cool like you have a little hobby of making YouTube videos that's not gonna last what do you really want to do it is so hard to have a dream that is so different because every single subject in school is leading to college and all that school is is preparing you for college basically so you can become like a lawyer or something with math something with English so, like those very very traditional jobs and there's just a lot of time and effort that goes into school and yes everybody does it but not only do I have school but now I have to try to make a career for myself in four years while balancing my education on top of it so it's just very very stressful I'm obviously so thankful for the situation I'm in because my family was so supportive of me coming out as gay and they have always been supportive about my dream and making YouTube videos 
and my friends also are always the first people to watch my videos, the first people to comment, or they even just Snapchat me like, ooh, love that tip, your video was amazing. Or even in school now, I have people in my grade and in other grades approach me and just be like, I love your videos, which to them is just like a quick little compliment, but to me it literally means so much. It makes me feel like so happy and it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. The reason I'm making this look red is obviously because my dream job is YouTube, but I'm also making it very, very smoky because black can symbolize hard times, it can symbolize sadness, it can symbolize stress. So not only does it symbolize that, but also I think black is such a strong color and it just adds definition and intensity. And this dream career of mine is definitely something that is extremely intense. Black is also used to make your eyes really, really smoky, which is often like connected with beauty. Like when you go to a party, you want like a really strong smoky eye. And this job to me, this hobby of mine isn't even a job yet, but to one day possibly turn this into a career to me is just so beautiful. And I'm proud of myself that I have something that I'm pretty good at that I can do on my free time where a lot of people my age are just sitting around doing absolutely nothing and I'm possibly building something that can lead to my future. To me, the hardest thing is when people ask, what do you wanna be when you're older? And I say, I wanna be like an influencer or do something with social media. And the thing I get most is, what do you really wanna do? What job do you actually want? To me, that question is so annoying because at this age, it is already so hard to know what you wanna do. And to have one career that I wanna pursue is already hard and like something that I have to think a lot about. So to have two is even harder because I'm literally a 14 year old. So if you're asking me what I really want to do when I'm literally in the first year of high school, like what type of question even is that? And then if I give you an answer and you have the audacity to say, what do you really want to do? Like at this point, you're just being rude. I'm going to quickly go do this eye off camera and then we'll be right back to finish the face and make this look very much artistic and talk even more because that's what I love doing. Okay, I'm now back and I'm literally obsessed with this look. It is so beautiful. This inner corner down here is very drag-like. It makes my eyes look longer and the red is beautiful and I'm literally having so much fun filming this video, which just proves my point that I literally love making YouTube videos and I have so much fun. So let's get into the face and make this look even better. <laughs> I definitely don't want to make this video like a negative thing because this is literally the only reason I'm making this is to empower other people and empower myself because I have never like just sat here and been like this is what I want to do and this is why I always shy away from it and I definitely get ashamed when other people ask me and I feel like it's bad for me to want to do this and this video isn't solely for people that want to do something completely wild like social media especially nowadays I feel like a lot of people are doing the same exact thing and it is so hard to make your content stick out. I will paint this red later, but I wanna work on some shadowing while we talk about throwing shade. And that's on a good transition. Sadly, the beauty community on YouTube and on social media is known for being toxic and bad to its creator. And that's so scary to me because that's like the future I want. I wanna be a part of that community. I wanna bring light to that community. I wanna like make friends in that community. And it's terrifying to see other people be taken down. But if you think about a lot of the largest creators on YouTube are the ones that have had the most scandals. And literally so many YouTubers even admit they're like the only people that make it are the ones that have scandals for publicity. I don't watch drama videos anymore. I used to watch them all the time. If you guys didn't know this, this is YouTube statistics. Every single time a drama video pops up on your homepage, that is YouTube recommending it to you based on what you have watched. And if you click on that video, you are telling YouTube, this video looks interesting, recommend it to more people. Therefore, you are making the drama channels make more money. And while some drama channels do base their opinions on facts and are just there to spread the news, a lot of these drama channels are there to make money off of people's misery and I don't support that. So please be cautious and know that on YouTube everything is about statistics. Everything is about your click by liking the video when you comment on a video. All of that is basically you saying I like this creator. Okay so I changed some things up and I just want to give a quick thank you to everybody watching. Literally whether one of my videos gets um, two views or one million I'm thankful for every single individual that watches. I'm going to quickly outline the outline with black and be right back because this is very very hard and my hands are extremely shaky from caffeine okay so that is basically done like I did before I'm gonna go do this cheek off camera and then I'll come back for the finishing touches and have the final conversation with you guys okay so now I'm gonna add a quick little red lip and I'm gonna mix a little bit of a red lipstick with a little bit of a black one to give some dimension just to match the face because the eyes have dimension and the logo has dimension okay now let's just finally add a little setting spray 
to lock it all in because I'm so proud of this look so I don't want it to just melt off in three minutes. I really do hope you guys enjoy this look. I had so much fun making this video and the entire reason I wanted to create this trend is to empower everybody watching to share their own story and their own dreams. I cannot wait to see your looks and hear your stories and see what you want to do with your life. So please use the hashtag dream inspired makeup so I can see it and tag me at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally all social media so I can see your look. If you did enjoy this video please make sure you are subscribed and have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also give me a like because I think I deserve one for this look and make sure you are following me on all my social media. It's at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally everything. I love you so much. I'm so grateful for everybody that watches my videos and I will see you next time. Bye!